Hi everybody, welcome once again and in today's video, I will explain you the meaning of gross domestic product or GDP. The measure of aggregate output in national income accounts is termed as GDP. There are different uh, ways to uh, define GDP which I will explain you with help of a very simple example. Consider an economy composed of just two firms, firm 1 and firm 2. Uh, firm 1 is a steel firm and firm 2 is a car firm. Uh, firm 1 produces a steel and sells it for $100 to uh, firm 2. Uh, so the total revenue earned by firm 1 in this case is $100. Firm 1 uh, uses uh, machines and workers to produce steel. It pays uh, workers $80. In reality, not only uh, machines and workers are required to produce a steel, but so are iron ore, electricity and so on. We have ignored these to keep our example simple. The revenue earned by steel company here is $100 and uh, if we subtract the expenses of the firm, the total profits earned by this firm is $20. Two uses uh, steel produced by firm one as an input and along with workers and machines produces cars uh, and earns a revenue of two hundred dollars. The profits earned by firm two uh, in this case is thirty dollars uh, since it is paying uh, wages to the extent of seventy dollars to the workers and steel is used uh, which is used as an input here for production of cars is to the is worth. $100. So the total expenses for uh, firm 2 is $170. So total profits earned by firm 2 is $30. Now how will you define aggregate output in the economy? Is it equal to $200 as the value of uh, cars and $100 as the value of steel? That means the total aggregate output is $300 or is it equal to $200? The correct answer here is $200 as a value of cars. Reason being, steel here is used as an intermediate good for production of cars. So the final good in this case is uh, cars and the value of $200 will be treated as the aggregate output produced in the economy or GDP in the economy. Now here is our first definition of GDP. GDP is the market value of final goods. Uh, we won't be considering the value of intermediate goods here because its value is already included in final goods produced within a country that means within the geographical confines of the country in a given period of time. Uh, this given period of time is usually 12 months or GDP uh, is uh, sometimes measured quarterly. This is another way to define GDP. GDP is the sum of value added in the economy during a given period. Value added by the firm is equal to value of its production minus intermediate goods. In the given case, a uh, steel company uh, doesn't use uh, any intermediate goods. So value added by this firm is $100. The car firm uh, uses steel as an intermediate good for production of the cars. So the value added for car firm is 200 minus 100 dollars that means 100 dollars. So if we add value added by form 1 that means 100 dollars and uh, value added uh, by form 2, 100 dollars will get the total value added in the economy uh, which is equal to 200 dollars and this 200 dollars represents the total GDP generated in the economy as a sum of value added during a given uh, period of time. So far we have looked at the GDP from the production side. The other way of looking at the GDP is from income side. Uh, let's uh, go back to our example and think about the uh, revenue uh, left with the firm after it uh, has paid uh, for its intermediate uh, goods. Some of the revenue goes to the workers. This component is called labor income. Uh, the rest goes to the firm and is called as capital income or profit income. Of the $100 of value added by steel company, $80 goes to workers in the form of labor income and $20 goes to firm in the form of profit income. Similarly, out of uh, the value added of 
hundred dollars uh, by the car company, seventy dollars goes to workers in the form of wages, and uh, thirty dollars goes to firm in the form of profit income. The economy as a whole, labor income is equal to one fifty dollars, and capital income is equal to fifty dollars. Value added in the economy is the sum of labor income and capital income, which is equal to one fifty dollars plus fifty dollars. That means uh, two hundred dollars. So here is our third definition of a GDP. GDP is the sum of incomes in the economy during a given uh, period, or to be more specific, sum of factor incomes in the economy uh, during a given uh, period. Um, so you can think of GDP in three different ways. From the production side, GDP equals the market value of the final goods and services produced in the economy during a given uh, period. Uh, GDP is the sum of value added in the economy during a given period, and from the income side, GDP is the sum of incomes in the economy during a given period.